Okay, let's go ahead and find the circumference of this circle. Of course, we have a circle here with some information. This was, uh, says three centimeters. Now, I'm not gonna give you too much information because I wanna give you a chance to answer this question. I will tell you a couple things. One, you're going to need a formula to answer this question. Two, uh, you certainly need to understand what the circumference is. And three, there's a couple different ways you can express your answer. I'm gonna talk about all these little details, but this is important stuff, kind of basic geometry, and everyone should be familiar with how to calculate the circumference of a circle. And uh, of course, I'm gonna go over this and show you the answer in just one moment. But if you can do this problem and you know the formula and whatnot, put your answer into the comment section. And of course, I'm gonna show you the answers and we're gonna talk about exactly what you need to know to find the circumference of a circle. But uh, first, uh, let me go ahead and quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, everyone out there can be successful in math, but it requires great math instruction. Hopefully, you have an excellent math teacher, but um, you know, if you need more instruction, I can definitely help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, check out my math help program. I really focus um, are trying to make super clear, understandable, and comprehensive uh, math instruction, way beyond what I do on YouTube in terms of tutorials. Also, a lot of you might be preparing for a test with a math section on it. Uh, many of you don't even realize you're gonna be taking a test like this. We're talking about certification exams, entrance exams, placement exams, things like the SAT, ACT, GED, ASVAB, teacher certification exam, you get the idea. I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, check out my award-winning middle and high school math uh, courses for homeschoolers. Hopefully, you have great math notes. If you do not, you need to start improving your note-taking. That's a critical skill to be successful in math. But in the meantime, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video as well. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's get into the circumference of a circle. And I'm going to show you the answer right now. Okay, so here we go. Here is a circle. And let's talk about what this is. This is the radius of a circle. It's half the width. So right here, okay, I guess this, I could have told you this, but I kind of wanted to not give you any clues. I just wanted to show you the prom. But this is the radius, uh, and it's one half the diameter. We're going to talk about all this in a second. So the, a circle with radius three centimeters, okay, you can write your answer basically in uh, one of two ways. So the circumference is equal to six pi centimeters, or you can have an approximation. Technically, I need to change this equal sign to this sign. This is a big thing in math. This means exactly equal. This is approximately. Okay, this has another meaning in geometry as well, but when you're writing something like this, this means approximately. And the reason why I'm saying the circumference of the circle is approximately 18, 8 .4, uh, 18 0.84 centimeters because it's not um, an exact answer. If you wanted an exact answer, you would write six pi centimeters. Now, let's quickly talk about what the circumference is. Okay, the circumference is effectively the perimeter, the distance around a circle. So when we're calculating the, um, uh, the circumference of a circle, you're really uh, calculating length, okay, distance. So if our distance is given in centimeters, or distance around a circle, i.e. the circumference is also in centimeters. So if you didn't put in your centimeters, your units of measure, um, your teacher will likely take off points. But either one of these answers will be fine. This one right here, 18.84, is based upon an approximation of pi, this symbol right here, being around 3.14. That's a pretty classic common approximation, very basic approximation. But anyways, if you're anywhere in this neck of the woods, you did excellent. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you a nice little happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a few stars for being so awesome because uh, in order to get this answer correct, you need to know the formula. And uh, of course, you need to understand how to calculate this out. But we're going to go ahead and cover this right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you the formulas to find the circumference of a circle. So again, the circumference of the circle is simply the distance around the circle. You kind of think of it as the perimeter. So for example, if I had a rectangle and I wanted to know the distance around this rectangle, we would call that the perimeter. But when we're talking about the distance around a circle, we don't call it the perimeter, we call it the circumference. So the circumference 
is equal to 2 times the radius times pi. This is one version of the formula. Also, the circumference is equal to the diameter times pi. Twice the radius is the same thing as a diameter. The diameter is simply the width of a circle. So here, this would be the center of the circle. The entire width of the circle is the diameter, okay? One half of the diameter right here from the center emanating out to the edge of the circle is called the radius. So uh, 2R, two, 2 the radiuses, is one diameter. So this is uh, two versions of the same formula. But again, we have this uh, really super important number, pi. Anytime you're dealing with a circle, you're going to have to be really familiar with pi, okay? And pi is approximately from a decimal um, uh, approximation 3.14. This is what we call an irrational number. Pi continues on forever. Okay, so we can't give an exact decimal because it never stops and it doesn't repeat. Okay, so what we call an irrational number. It goes on to infinity. Uh, you may be surprised that there are people, I don't know who knows uh, by heart that, um, the most digits at this date, but there are some really uh, you know, top math prodigies that just have this this number down, these digits, they go on and on and on and on and on. It's pretty incredible. So don't feel compelled to have to memorize this number, uh, pi. Just you can use 3.14 as a decimal. 22 sevenths is a good fraction um, approximation for pi. But again, these are just approximations. But if you really wanted to get an exact answer, of course, you just leave your your answer as pi, okay, as we uh, saw earlier, 6 pi. We'll, we'll talk more about that again in a second. But if you wanted to get a nice, long, um, accurate um, uh, decimal version, a decimal of pi, you can pull that value up in most of your calculators, especially if you have a scientific calculator, you can bring up pi and get a pretty nice uh, decimal. Um, of course, the more digits you have, the um, uh, more accurate your answer is going to be. Okay, so here, uh, again, these formulas and um, this um, value for pi is something that you, uh, you should kind of commit to your long-term memory when it comes to math. There's a lot of formulas you learn in mathematics, but this one here, I would say, try to put into your long-term memory as it will come up over and over again. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do this problem now that we know everything we need to know about the circumference. So the circumference of a circle with radius 3 centimeters. Because my um, uh, problem, if the information my problem is giving me the radius here, I'll go ahead and use this uh, version of the formula, 2 times the radius times pi. So 2 times the radius of 3, okay, is of course 6 pi. Uh, and then again, remember, we got to be very um, uh, specific with our units of measure. So if you just said 6 pi, but 6 pi what? 6 pi feet, 6 pi meters, no 6 pi centimeters because circumference is measuring the distance around the circle. So if you, the question was find the exact value of the circumference, you would give this as your answer. If uh, the question was find an approximate value or uh, just that was open-ended, just find the circumference, you could give this or this. Okay, so again, 18.84 is when we um, uh, replace this pi with an approximate value of 3.14. But a couple things here, again, to stress about working with pi. Okay, anytime you're dealing, uh, dealing with circles, you're going to uh, likely be running into pi, so like the area of a circle, etc. Remember, you can have an exact version or an approximation, and do not forget your units of measure. Okay, so I think we covered circumference pretty well. Of course, you want to practice this stuff. Um, you know, watching me do a problem is one thing, but you're not going to get good at math unless you actually do practice problems yourself. It's very much like you watching someone shoot a basketball, right? And it's like, okay, are you going to get better by watching someone else uh, practice getting better at, you know, shooting a basketball? No, you actually have to do it. And another thing is this, just because you can do one problem right, it's like making one basket, that's, you know, uh, doesn't confirm that you know this stuff perfectly, right? It's like, oh, I shot the basket, I got it right, therefore I don't need to practice anymore because I can do this every single time. No, that's not the case in basketball or math, okay? So math is a skill and you got to practice a lot. So if you need additional help with um, 
basic concepts like the circumference, etc. I would suggest uh, checking out my pre-algebra course. I go over a lot of basic geometry and, of course, uh, basic algebra in that course. And, uh, uh, of course, I do have a full, complete geometry course, and I have additional videos on my YouTube channel that cover uh, circumference and area, etc., etc. But hopefully this video helps you out. And if that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.